rise up. It's time for another episode of Spartivation, your podcast source for inspiration and motivation to get you through your Spartan body transformation. Here now is your host, the Spartan Doctore, Spartan Doctore, champion of growth. It is a glorious day to train and grow. I am Ryan Masters, the Spartan Doctor, a certified strength and conditioning specialist, here to provide you with motivation and inspiration as you journey through your epic transformation. Welcome to another episode of Spartivation, broadcast directly to you from Trifection Studios. If you find these episodes helpful, please be sure to leave, subscribe and leave a review so I know to produce more of them for you. Today we're continuing our dive into the Spartan Body Blueprint, which you can download absolutely for free at Spartivation. Com. This is a strategic document for you to take and use if you're interested in building a ripped kind of Spartan-like physique in less than five hours a week. And the we're going over the dynamic strength training component of the Spartan body triad. So remember the blueprint covers the three areas, the trifection, mind, body, and soul when it comes to transforming and, and changing ourselves. And the body part is usually where everyone starts off, right? We see someone says to themselves, all right, I want to get in shape. What is the first thing they do? I oh, need to go to the gym. And while that's, that's certainly good, we want to channel and use that energy and that motivation, we want to approach it from a more strategic angle. That way, you know, the energy and, and the focus and effort that we're putting in is not wasted and we're getting the maximum return. And that's how, you know, that's how you get the fastest results, really, is you do the right things and only the right things and you cut out all the filler and all the baloney. That doesn't mean there aren't other ways to train that will get you in shape. You know, I think it's silly when you hear anyone proclaiming there's only one method because that's obviously not true. But when you whittle away and, and the question becomes, you know, how do I build the most muscle the fastest? then that there is kind of only one answer to that and that's with this document and, and following this strategic type of mindset in terms of we don't waste time with filler and we only go after the the hard not only what works but really what delivers the most ROI in terms of time and effort put in and transformation of the body and, and mind uh, as as the output and so the body component has a Spartan uh, Spartan body triad and these are the three areas where you need to focus your action if you're going to have any success in changing your physique and we kind of talked about a little about them earlier you've got dynamic strength training calibrated food intake and 360 degree recovery and you can see I put the percentages there of, of kind of the impact obviously the calibrated food intake is the most important or has the biggest biggest Influence that doesn't mean the other two aren't important, but that calibrated is at 40, the other two are at 30. But today we're talking about we're going to dive deep and look at dynamic strength training and how this applies again to building that rip Spartan physique in less than five hours a week. And what are the components there? And you see, we've got it broken down into, into three takeaways. And the first is compound lifts, second is the Spartan 80 20 exercises, and the third is the Spartan strength ladder. And so compound lifts, what are those? Those are you know, muscle, those are exercises that recruit more than one muscle. They recruit multiple muscles, hence the term compound. And the reason we use and focus the with these is that our that's how our body likes to be trained. You know, our body, if you just look at the body and, and how everything operates, it works as a system. You know, the biceps pull on the bone, but the triceps pull on the under, uh, other side of the bone so that it doesn't go flying off. I mean, everything works together in tandem. So there's really no such thing as like, you know, isolation training. It's, it's again, depends on the strategy, right? If someone's taking steroids and he's bodybuilding, I'm not knocking it, but they can get away with doing isolation training stuff because they're using different substances that, that causes the body to react differently. You and I are not doing that, so we need to use a strategy that's appropriate to us. You know, you wouldn't take you wouldn't take a strategy from the Civil War battlefield and apply it to the modern day battlefield, right? Cuz that that wouldn't that wouldn't turn out very well. So it's kind of the same thing here. Just cuz just cuz you see bodybuilder guys who are in shape and say, "Oh yeah, do this." Even if that's coming from a place of authenticity from them, what they don't realize is that they obviously have different lifestyle and different inputs that are affecting their outcomes and you do not and and so it's it's foolhardy to give the, for them to give you advice and say to do the same thing that they're doing because it doesn't work so with the compound lifts you know we the reason we want to use those is because they recruit more muscles 
Not only that, but it also, tra again, trains the body how it wants to be trained. Our body operates and acts as a system, and when we train it like that, it responds better. And the compound lifts are what helps release not only training the muscles, but it releases more hormones and gets the hormones going so for building more muscle. So we focus on the compound lifts, and those are included in the Spartan 80-20 exercises. And again, you know, the 80-20, the law of 80-20 in terms of we're looking at, okay, what are the... 20% of inputs or 20% of exercises that are going to give me 80% of results. And if we narrow down and find, okay, what are those 20% of exercises that give me 80% of results, it makes all the sense in the world to just focus on those 20% because the better you get at those, the faster and more results you're going to get. And so the 80-20 the exercises breaks down real simple. It's these guys right here, squats, deadlifts, bench press, standing press, dips, pull-ups, and leg lifts. Those at seven exercises are the 80-20, and you just focus on those. You know, if your training programs consist of just those, or mostly those, you will go a long way in changing your physique and building muscle much faster. That's, you know, if you're interested in the particular reps and sets and how to structure all, stack all those to get the maximum benefit, you know, you want to pick up a Spartan Rises, which you can get from SpartanRises.com. But here, regardless, the point of the matter is, if you want to train and get the most results that you can in the limited amount of time, you there are some sacrifices you have to make. And in this case, it may be some of those exercises I just just read off may make you shiver and be like, ugh, you know, I don't want to learn how to do squats or I don't want to do deadlifts. And that's good. You know, most guys don't. That's why those those racks are usually pretty empty. But you don't want to be like most guys. That's why you're listening to this podcast because you want to improve and invest in yourself. And so you need to start using that as a barometer to say, okay, what are most guys doing? Cool. Let me do the opposite. Like that, that, that should be your starting point. So that coupled with the fact that you may have had a negative gut reaction, two squats, two deadlifts, two bench press, well, not bench press, everyone loves bench press, or two standing press, you know, that's telling you that you need to do it. And what is the barrier in the way? Well, I don't know how to do it. Well, okay, come on. Let's, you know, we'll walk you through this. Like, obviously, you're going to need to take time out and learn how to do it. So go to the gym on a Saturday, hire a trainer, study YouTube videos, check out Starting Strength DVD from Mark Ripto. You know, you, again, this is where you take, instead, the, instead of all that energy that you, that you would take and go spend and waste hunting around, looking on the internet for different workouts and reading blog tips and just, you know, stuff where it's like, eh, I feel good after reading it, but you don't really do anything with it. What happens here is you take all that wasted energy and you focus it on, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to train myself on how to properly do a squat. I'm going to train myself on how to properly do deadlift, which requires you to change. It requires you to go out and research you know, how do I do these? You know, find an authoritative source to learn it from or get personally trained on it. But once you do, now you're able to unlock the ROI benefits of training with these exercises because they give you the fastest muscle possible. So that's, again, just kind of a mindset shift that you're going to be looking and needing to make if you are interested in, again, goes back to that question of how can I build the most muscle in the fastest possible way? Well, this is how you do it. Nowhere... In anywhere, in any podcast, in anything, have I said that it's easy? It's not easy initially, but it does actually get really easy. There's there's just a steep, you know, initial learning curve. If you don't know how to do the exercises, well, you know, you go through and learn how to do them. But it's fun. I mean, come on, that's that's what makes us men is we have challenges and we're like, oh, things I don't want to do, but you know what, I'm going to do it anyways. And then at the end of the day, like you're sweaty and you're just like, oh, good, I'm glad I did this. And so that's the same thing. So you need to honor that and just just understand that uh, it's okay to not want to do them, but you need to discipline yourself to do them if you're interested in building the most muscle possible in the fastest manner. And then the third component is the Spartan Strength Ladder, and this is the proper way to progressively add weight in terms of training. You know, the number one thing when I see workouts, and even like recently I bought a bunch of workout programs just to research and see, okay, what are other people, you know, providing? And like no one teaches you the, there's a proper method to putting on and increasing your weight so that A, you don't get injured, and B, you gain the most muscle possible, and no one teaches it. So that's what you that's what the Spartan Strength Ladder is. It is a method to, and, and let me give you an example. So of an analogy would be, you know, getting a suntan. Uh, you know, when you're getting a suntan, if you went out, <clears throat> pasty white dude like I usually am, and you go stand in the sun for five minutes, 
Yeah, you might get a maybe a, a slight slight shade change, right? Just five minutes, ten minutes. Well, let's just say ten minutes. And if you just go out every day and just stay in there ten minutes every day, like you're not going to continually get darker. It doesn't keep going. You just you just stay at that shade because you're only going out ten minutes. Now, if you suddenly, if you were doing ten minutes and then one day you go out and you spend an hour, well, what's going to happen? You're going to turn into a lobster. You know, you but way too, and it's basically way too much. You know, the sun is putting stress on your skin, so your skin is used to ten minutes of stress every day. It has adapted to that, so you have a tan, you know, a small tan from that ten minutes. It's not going to get any darker because it's it's as dark as it needs to be because it's like, hey, this guy's only staying out ten minutes, so we will stay right at this level of shade. But if you suddenly go out for an hour, all of a sudden that stress is way more than your skin's used to handling, and it's going to be like, ow, it's going to turn red. And and you're going you've you've damaged or overtrained your body too much. So if you want to continually to get darker, what you have to do is you go out then you know twelve minutes or maybe fifteen minutes, and you just progressively stack that time so that the amount of stress on your skin is increased, but it's not increased so much that it sends you into overshock or overtraining. And it's not that you're staying at the same level because then you wouldn't increase. So that's that's the concept of the Spartan Strength Letter, but now we're applying it to muscle growth. You know, we're applying just enough stress so that the muscles grow, not too much so they're like, holy cow, like this is too much, we're shutting down, and not too little so that nothing happens and like, no, oh, this is chump change, I don't need to get any bigger. Now that's that's obviously kind of a, a, there's a lot of stuff in there so we can't get into it in a particular podcast, but I want you to at least be aware of that you need to focus on continually and progressively increasing your strength. Again, you can get more details from that in AspartanRises.com. But, you know, no matter how much strength training you're doing or not doing in your life, always remember, never retreat, never surrender, and keep moving forward. Mm -hmm.